What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to Hydro Near. It has been a little bit since we played this game. Uh, we were doing other things, doing other stuff, but I wanted to hop back in. I want to get some gold and make some money. Now, if you guys have never played Hydro Near, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's the first time you've ever seen. Well, first of all, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic week and day or weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping out. Much appreciated. So, it is a gold getting farming mining expedition making money kind of thing so basically you start off with nothing you start by panning gold by hand as you increase as you upgrade you do all the things do all the stuff i have a playlist i'll have a link down below playlist this the video is currently in but there's an update coming out on i believe it's the 15th so we gotta get some things rock and rolling here we gotta get back in we gotta we gotta get stuff going there's some things i have yet to play within the game that we need to play with so first thing we're gonna do today is we are going to start the smelting process. We're going to start smelting all the things, all the stuff. Uh, let's get our amazing staff of magneticness here. Let's grab all these. And I'm just going to throw all of this into this cauldron. We're going to try to make some cashola's. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, can, you, can, can you maybe maybe get in there? <laughs> that would be great. Ideally, get get in the cauldron. <laughs> It's not a cauldron, it's a crucible. I'm sorry, everybody in the comments is going to be losing their minds if I say cauldron. You know, it could be a cauldron. We do have a magnetic staff, a magnet staff. So, I mean, there is magic in the game. All right, that looks good. <laughs> that looks good. Let's go ahead and get some uh, some iron into this one as well. Now, I'll do a quick rundown of kind of what I have going on here as far as my setup so far. Uh, just keep in mind that this setup is barely working for me currently. So I'm excited for the update. I'm excited to see what changes. Um, and I'm excited to play with like just new things in general, you know? All right, let's start off with the gold. I know there's other things in here. It's fine. Uh, we'll do, we're going to start with that. Uh, and then we'll do iron. Um, and then let's see what else we're going to make. I think we're just going to make a ring because I don't really have, uh, I don't think I have two gold bars. Do I have any old, any more gold bars laying around? I don't think I do. We also need to make a house. I don't know how I haven't made a house yet. That needs to happen. We need to make a house so we can have somewhere to live, have somewhere to store all of our goodies. But, um, I'm pretty much broke at this point in the game. <laughs> I have like nothing to my name. Uh, there's a piece of chunk of gold right there. That's a big old nugget. Man, if I was in the beginning of the game and I found a nugget that big, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I found a golden nugget. It's fine. Okay. Are you done yet? Not yet. Okay, so we got to wait. Uh, we got to let this heat up. Anyways, okay, so quick rundown of what's going on here. We have this giant excavating machine. I really like it. I really like it and I want to use it. And I want to do all the things. So the excavating machine, essentially you go through, you suck up a whole bunch of the soily pay dirt goodness and ideally, we throw it on this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt goes around into here. This is a little, uh, like a chunk breaker. It breaks up the giant solid chunks of soil into smaller chunks of soil. And then again, into here, into here. And then it goes into this machine, which then takes the gold or iron or uh, gems or whatever, what have you out of it, throws it onto a belt that is uh, back in here behind all of this stuff. Cause I don't want it to like splash out, go everywhere. And then these sort everything uh, from gold, iron uh gems and then the shards and then once it's all sorted out good to go we throw it in the crucible wait till it's liquefied go into here and interact with this <gasps> look at the size of that gold bar absolutely fantastic um now i don't think there's anything else in there okay cool there's not so we have one gigantor bar of gold um let's go ahead and do this iron as well because like i said we need money we're, we're broke we're completely broke um and then i want a no right here please i want um we're gonna do a ring so we'll do a ring and a gem what gem should we use we have a giant ruby right here let's do a ruby let's do that grind it up we'll go ahead and we'll throw the gem on here and boop like so is this guy done yet almost okay almost almost come on iron i'm watching you metal meltdown you can do this i believe it. yeah see you just had words of encouragement words of encouragement make the world go around all right there we go fantastic so we'll go ahead and set this guy back down right here and let's get our bar heated up so that way we can make ourselves a super fancy ring i don't know how much this ring's gonna be worth probably not a lot but you know it's I mean, a necklace would be better but um yeah i guess you know a ring now uh questions you may have if you've never watched this you've never seen this basically what you do is you can have different size bars of gold. 
so i could smelt up this single piece right here uh throw it in there throw it in the mold it'll make a little tiny bar you can throw that on here make a little tiny ring but you can have a ton you can put a ton of stuff into uh is that yeah no uh that's the construction hammer where's the other hammer <gasps> this one uh whack yeah but you can put a ton of gold into one ring so like this ring right here it's gonna look about the same but if you have like a ton of gold into it and it's like super pure it's gonna be worth a whole lot of money so let's go ahead let's drop our ring into here and let's go to town and try to sell this bad boy how's the water situation it looks like it's fine all right so let's see what is this guy worth at the jewelers now there's different places there's different uh there we go can i have you back thank you there's different ways to sell these uh one of them being a jeweler which is going to give you a flat rate but there's also like a stock market so some things can be worth more at a time Ooh, 3829 okay so that's the flat price that is the price you'll get every single time but let's go see if we can find a stock market that maybe has something a little bit more value i'm gonna leave the hydro truck here or whatever this uh, the high i'm gonna it's the hydro truck we're gonna leave the hydro truck here i'm gonna walk uh, and we'll go to a different town. We'll see if we can find something a little bit better. All right. So rings are down currently, but we can still see. Yeah. So 3462, not worth it right now. This is one of the places. Now let's go across the bridge and we'll go to the other town. There's a little town right there that also has a stock market that might be worth a little bit more. Oh, I see green arrows. Rings are worth more. Yeah. Oh, nope. Hmm. Okay, so this place doesn't buy buy the rings. Okay, let's go check. Uh, there's this one right here, and then I think there's one more stock market right up in this castle area right up here. All right, stock market in here. Rings are down. No. <laughs> rings are down terribly here. Uh, $37.99, though. That's actually pretty good. That's really close to being the same price, and you can see that it's down. So imagine that if it's up, it's going to be worth quite a bit. So now we can actually game the system a little bit because if you sleep, uh, it will actually pass the time and it'll reset those prices. All right, what do we got? Show me something good. No, they're still down. That's fine. We'll sleep again. You know, I'm almost wondering if they fixed this so it doesn't do that anymore because it didn't change. <laughs> Maybe they updated it. So it's like, no, sorry. You can't just sleep in a bed repeatedly just to make more money. Um, okay, let me go back to the other town here oh this one's still down too uh it's only it's down by 50 it's the same exact thing as before you know what we'll just sell it to the jeweler that's fine i'll just take the loss what can i say i'm poor i need money yeah just give me the money all right thank you 38 29 that's not bad that's that's still pretty good so let's go put this over here and i've never actually played with a few of these items oh we already have 752 <gasps> look at that 4581 all right so i've never played with the drills i've never played with the goliath drill i've never played with the ram drill so extends drill arm downwards yields more with better water pressure gets damaged from unfiltered water okay so drill extends drill arm downwards and a ram drill ram's top level dirt works faster with better water pressure gets damaged from unfiltered water okay so that makes sense we already know what the harvester is i don't believe that there's anything else here that we haven't played with before oh a mining helmet wait what i don't remember a mining helmet being a thing i want one of those absolutely and hmm let's try out let's try out a goliath drill ram drill goliath drill which one is better i don't actually know like do these work for for how how long do they work for you know do i have to keep putting soil down like what's the deal um let's get two goliath drills all right so these are mine now i can wear this <gasps> look at that how do i turn it on though i don't know how to turn it on that's fine all right let's take these back to our place and let's get these guys hooked up oh i don't know if i like the the, the mining hat um like not maybe maybe not on all the time so i'm thinking with the ram drills we're gonna we're gonna have to place them out here we can't place them over here because this is not diggable right here uh and then that means it's not gonna go into my entire system <laughs> my whole system is not gonna work for this it's not gonna work um okay so we'd have to place this down like that 
Interesting. Water goes in, soil comes out, I guess. I guess, I mean, that. I feel like that makes sense, right? Hmm. Can I place it up higher? Like, does it have to be sitting on the ground like this? Or can I place it on, like, on foundations? Because, like, if we could have it come down onto, like, a belt, you know? And then have that belt feed into that belt over there, maybe? Ooh. Because, like, we could line these up just like that. Okay, so I like these, but I'm actually kind of thinking... I have an idea. Hold on. Let's Let's drop these down here. And let's go look at something else real quick. How's our water? Our water, yeah, it's kind of low. We could probably use a little bit more. Let me actually fill up our water thing. Um, I'm thinking that maybe we'll set up two different, uh, two different places for two different operations. So we have this one here, and this was primarily focused on with this guy. This is primarily focused on, you know, utilizing this to go through and grab everything. But there are more properties and there is a property right over here and i believe there's actually a water source at one of these properties over here that's really close as well you know what i meant to get water and i did not grab water <laughs> darn it uh, okay so let's see this one right here oh no oh i'm going in oh geez all right we're stuck <laughs> We're a hundred percent. How are you supposed to get down in here? Oh, there's a road right here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. So I'm thinking we could purchase this land right here. This is a terrible, like, look at how, like the surface is so rocky and terrible, but we do have a water source literally right here. So that could allow us, we could set up a secondary area in this that will allow us to play with you know like the ram drills and whatever other you know the the goliath and the ram drill i guess so we could set up this area for that my poor hydro truck <laughs> it's cliff it's cliff hanging guys i don't think this was meant to be a rock crawler it is not uh nope we're stuck okay we're gonna have to unstuck it darn we're gonna have to unstuck this thing uh you know what i'm, I'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna leave those here i think we're gonna get this place let's see how much is this place uh for sale how much how much do you cost 1200 that's it oh my gosh we can afford that right now today okay so let me just go ahead and let me get these placed down uh i'm just gonna set them oh i can't place them here because i don't own it Ugh. okay never mind we can't do that let me unstuck this guy let's grab some money let's purchase this land and i think this is gonna be where we do like the the ram drills and things like that you know giving us more more options more variety Okay, I gotta get this guy filled up like right now. Otherwise, we're gonna have we're gonna have a problem. All right, are you filling up? Nope. And yay! All right, now we're full. Cool. Okay, so we need to go get more money. Um, you know what? We gotta make we gotta make some money though. Let's let's go through. Let's get um. Let's fill this guy up with water. Let's do a quick pass of the gold and actually try to get some more gold and stuff in here. Uh, we need it. We need the gold in our life. Are you filling up? I think it did. It did. Okay, cool. Nice and full. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. All right, let's get over here. Now I have this area that I've been working in and we actually started digging down deep because that's where all the good stuff's at. The deeper you go, the more pay is there. I think, I think that's how that works. All right, let's do this. Um, Let's see, how steep is this right now? All right, let's do it. Oh, look at us go. Look at us go. What am I stuck on? Uh-oh, I'm hard stuck. Oh, I'm stuck right here. Oh, come on! Try to get some more dirt. Give me that pay. Yeah, there we go. All right, we got, we went a little bit further. <laughs> come on. Come on, you can do it. How far down does this go? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we're fully stuck. Okay, all right, unstuck. <laughs> That's okay, we got a full load. Let's go drop this off, and let's see what kind of, what kind of gold we get out of this. All right, looking good. Um, okay, let's see. Do we have any shards? We have a shard in there. We got some in there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's turn the system on and let's see what we can do with this. Now, last time I did this, it was kind of finicky. Soil kind of like to go everywhere. That's okay. All right, so these are pretty much all empty. I'm not worried about those yet. More about that gold and the iron. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. All right, everything's on and we should start spitting out. Okay. Trying to take it a little bit slower. I don't want to overload the system here. It's so funny how it just like poops it out. Poop. <laughs> a little bit of pay dirt. A little bit more pay dirt. And a little bit more. Now, I could press and hold the button. Uh, but like I said, I don't want the system to back, get backed up. And I don't want to like have soil like laying absolutely everywhere. And it seems like if you just let it kind of take its time. Okay, we're out. All right. So do we have giant chunks of soil? Oh, we do. We do have giant chunks of soil. Okay. So 
these guys i'm going to try to throw on here hopefully they get all ground up in little tiny pieces see that's the problem is sometimes they get they get caught up in there and there's just not a lot you can do about it we tried to using a funnel but the funnel ends up getting clogged up faster than anything else okay, so that looks good let's go and grab this one all right that's looking good now this also could be left over from last time i did this when i wasn't taking it a little bit slower all right looks good looks solid i think we're i think we're doing good okay let's turn it off now you don't want this running unless you have to because things do get damaged over time these filters and all this stuff does all right so let's see what did we get out of oh oh my oh guys we got gold we got gold oh my gosh there's so much that is the most gold i've ever gotten i've never gotten that much gold oh this is the best thing ever okay hold on can i have this oh <gasps> look at how much we got oh my gosh we can't even no no why did you do that it's explode no oh i don't like you i don't like you i just i just wanted to go go in the pot just go in there just go in the pot guys we we have an issue this is this is a hundred percent a first world issue right now i have so much gold i can't get it into the pots <laughs> too much gold oh we lost <gasps> look at it went everywhere oh my goodness it went absolutely everywhere you know at least these are all like really giant chunks and actually worth the time going through picking them up one by one because i'm gonna tell you right now if they were the little teeny tiny guys would not even be worried about this like no but these things are massive that was the most gold i've ever gotten out of one load holy moly well now you know we have to uh actually you know what let's go ahead and make a necklace let's smelt this stuff up right here oh there's a bar still in here Oh, that's right we we're gonna make a we we're gonna make some kind of sword thing uh shoot all right yeah we'll make a dagger real quick um boop okay cool look at that size of that dagger so we'll go off and sell this guy uh we'll just leave it right there it's fine don't worry daggers can lay on the ground they're completely safe <laughs> not really that's terrible all right so we'll go ahead and we'll do uh we'll smelt that up and then we'll smelt the rest of this up so we can have two gold bars and we can make a necklace all right so necklace there and then oh my gosh look at the size of these rubies holy moly guys we're gonna be rich we're gonna be rich beyond our wildest dreams you know what forget we don't even need to set up the automation that one pass look how much gold we made all right let's get our first bar out we'll put that back down right here i still cannot believe how much we made off of that so i'm going to try i'm gonna try this i'll try putting the cauldron here now, I tried this before using funnels and whatnots, but it didn't quite seem to work that way because if it did, um, essentially everything once it enters here doesn't have a collision point, so it should be able to hold like as much as it, it can. Is this already done? No, it looks like it's done. It's super shiny. It's because we got so much gold in there. There's <laughs> so much gold. I love it. Um, I can't believe how big these gems are. Oh my gosh. This is going to be good stuff. I can't wait. All right. There's another bar. And we'll just go ahead and set this back down for now. Let's heat these two up and make our necklace. Oh man, this necklace is gonna be worth some cash. I can't wait. Oh, there's a piece of gold right there. There's gold everywhere. There's this place is a gold mine. Literally a gold mine. All right. One necklace that literally is just pieces of gold strung together. <laughs> it's great. Wait a second. Did I buy a scale? I thought I bought a scale. Um, maybe I did not. Hmm. I believe the scales actually kind of like weigh the gold and tell you how much gold is actually there. So, uh, this guy right here, this necklace should be a lot. Look at there's gold all the way over here. There's gold all the way over here. It exploded that bad. There was so much gold there. It made it all the way over. <laughs> it's insane. I would have loved to have seen what it would look like from here. It's just like, everything going everywhere good gosh all right so of course we have to check the jeweler to see what the price is all right hold on what do you guys think it is comment below before you look okay give you a chance pause the video go comment below how much do you think it's worth six thousand six thousand that's it i thought for sure that'd be worth more that's okay all right that's not bad it's still six grand <laughs> that's pretty good um i don't think we're probably gonna need that much money well i mean if we did if we got a whole bunch of like goliath drills and stuff we definitely would so let's go check stock market prices i'm telling you right now since i made a necklace 
Necklaces aren't going to be worth anything, but the rings will be. Oh, necklaces are up 85. 6305. All right. Cha-ching. 63. You know, I thought it was... I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be more than that. I thought it was going to be more than that. That's fine, though. And let's combine our efforts. And now we have 8605. We can buy whatever we need to. It's good. It's a great time. That is super exciting. Okay, so... um. Should we go buy the other land? Actually, let me check over here. Do I have any money left in this one still? <gasps> no, darn it. Orange paint bucket, green paint bucket. Oh, <gasps> you can paint stuff now too? We need to build a house. I'm telling you, we need to build a house. It's gotta happen. It has to happen. All right, so let's buy this place. We did it, we bought it, 7,400, fantastic. Now we own the property. I think, is that everything? Pretty sure we own all of the properties now. I hope so. I think so. But I think we're going to make that one into the, uh, like a drill mine. And then this one over here is going to be like a excavator mine because this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, we can handle getting the excavator in and out of places, things like that. So, um, yeah, it's exciting things. So actually let's just go ahead and put our money into this little bin right here, just so that way we know where it's at. Cause if I don't, I'm going to lose it forever and we don't want to lose it forever. All right, looking good. Getting back into the swing of things. Oh, I should have brought the knife to sell too. Well, oh well, it is what it is. Getting back into Hydroneer, getting back into the swing of things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed because that's going to end this episode of Hydroneer, of getting gold. And I got to say, we got more gold today than I've ever gotten ever so far. So that was pretty nice, pretty cool stuff. Cannot wait to get back into more, but hopefully you guys enjoyed again. If you did like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you guys want to check out Hydroneer, I'll have a link down below, of course. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one.